Hi folks, Pete Guitar Martin here. I'm showing you proper fingering for playing major scales on the piano. And the this is the third of a three-part series. The first one we did the first um, five, I think it was, uh, scales in the circle of fifths. C, G, D, A, E, and B, I guess that's uh, six. Those are your, um, no, no, we, st we didn't do B, right. So those first five, um, C through E, have the same fingering, standard fingering. B, then we did B, F sharp, and C sharp, which have alternate fingerings, and they are the uh, still sharp keys, C has no flats, no sharps. Uh, the other uh, scales up to C sharp, we call sharp keys because they only use sharps. Um, and then we have the four remaining keys, which are flat keys. We're not uh, giving you the names of the enharmonic keys because C sharp and D flat are actually played the same way. They're just uh, using a different naming system. So the, and that's what we're showing you today. Uh, we're showing you the flat keys, keys that only have um, flats in the key signature, A flat, E flat, B flat, and F natural. F has a B flat in it, even though the name isn't, a f it doesn't have a flat in it. The tonic is not flat. There is a flat in it. That's why it's called a flat key. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with the A flat key, and we're continuing around the circle of fists. The, Last video ended with C sharp, um, <clears throat> C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F sharp, G sharp. The enharmonic to that is F flat. You know, with C sharp, all seven notes are flat. I mean, sharp. All seven notes are sharp. So that's why we have to switch to flat keys. Um, we're going to be start starting with four flats with A flat. So let me go ahead and we'll go ahead and show you the fingering for that and how it's played. That's our A flat with our left hand. I'm going to show you the left hand first. Uh, we number our fingers one through five. One, two, three, four, five. If you can see that. Now we're starting with the third finger. So this one starts out with three, two, one, four, three, two, one, two, and back. One, two, three. Four, thumb under, one, two, three, and then the arpeggio is three, one, four, two, four, one, three. Okay, that's the left hand, the right hand. Starts with the second finger on the A flat, an octave higher. So now we go two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and back. Two, one, three, two, one, three, two. Arpeggio. One, two, four, two, one, three. Okay, for this next one, I'm going to shift the keyboard a little bit. So we're going to do E flat is the next scale in the circle of fifths. C, D, E, E flat. E flat, and let me make sure my uh, we got everything showing. Yep, we're all in. Okay. All right. So the left hand first. We're gonna start with the middle finger, the third finger, and it's three, two, one, four, three, two, one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three. Arpeggios. Three, two, four, two, four, one, three. Might have misspoke there. Three, one, four, two, four, 
one, one, three. Okay, left hand, I mean right hand rather, that was the left hand. Um, left hand, we're gonna start with the second finger on an E flat. So one, I'd rather two, one, uh, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, th uh, two, one, uh, two, one, two, four, one, two, actually we should be, uh, yeah, yeah two. So that's the proper fingering for E flat major. I think I forgot to put the other ones together last time, but. All right, that's what it looks like when we put them both together. Uh, next scale is B flat. So we start like this. Uh, there we go. B flat. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, shoot. Dang nabbit. I should be doing this an octave lower. Let me try this. Sorry. See that? Starting on B flat. So the left hand is going to start with the third finger. This just has B flat and E flat in it. Three, two, one, four, three, two, one, two, and back. One, two, three, four. Thumb under. One, two, three. One, uh, three. No, four. Two, four, one, three. Again, that's three, one, four, two, four, one, three. All right. Okay, now we're going to start the right hand, starts the second finger. Two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, three, two, one, uh, two, I mean, three, one, three, two, one, three, one, uh, two, four, two, one, three, again, that arpeggio. And then both hands together. Okay, that was B-flat, which has B-flat and E-flat, which just leaves one more of the 12 scales in the circle of fifths, the F major chord, uh, which is here. You see that? Yes. Okay. So this is similar to standard fingering, but we use one more finger. Uh, so we're going to start here with the left hand on five, five, four, three, two, one and the middle of the finger over. Two, three, two, one, 
two, three, one, two, three, four, one, three, uh, two, one, no, uh, yeah, one, five, three, two, one, two, three, five. Now, if we're going to, yeah, let me do it this way. If we're going multiple octaves. All right, right hand. So the right hand, we're going to start with the first finger, and we're going to play um, fa, um, fa, no, one. One, two, three, four, and then thumb under. One, two, three, four. The thing that's, it's, it's like standard fingering, but you do one more finger before you do the thumb under or the middle over. And um, and then we end on the, four, the fourth finger. Come back. And four, three, one, two, three, five, three, two, one. It's a little different than the right hand. I mean the left hand. The arpeggio is. So let's put them together. F major scale and arpeggio. Okay, and there you have it. That's the last of our three-part series on proper fingering for major scales and arpeggios on the piano. How do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice, practice, practice. I will never be at Carnegie Hall on the piano, but every musician should know basic keyboarding, and so that's why I'm teaching it here. And I do play a little bit of piano, and I did study uh, with a lady with a master's degree in piano for a couple of years. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe and ring the bell if you'd like to be notified when we release our next video. Hope you have a great day. Thank you.